forward, forward, back. Laser. All right, our second presenter, um, okay. today is Forward. Okay. Thanks. Unless you want me to do it for you. Uh, that's okay. Is it the PowerPoint or the PDF? PowerPoint. Okay, cool. He Thank you. We'll get this right now. A little bit about me. Well, you've heard a little bit about me. I've got a diploma in marketing, um, real estate certificate of registration, uh, uh, trained in work and health, work health and safety and risk management for managers and supervisors, 10 years in, um, in advertising. When I returned from London, um, I had no intention of going back into advertising, uh, so I jumped into the home building business where I started with Pioneer Homes and I've sort of never really looked back from there. Um, some, of the some of the builders I've worked for, Sekasui House, uh, the Japanese always pronounced it Sexy House, uh, Hutchison Builders, and currently at Jaster Constructions. Uh, a bit about the family, that um, top right hand picture is my father, age 23, POW, who was a bomber pilot, uh, flew Wellington, shot down, uh, crashed into the Mediterranean, was patched up by the Germans and they hosted him for around about three years as a POW. The really recent picture on the bottom left is my mum, my brother, myself, uh, Scarlet, the centre there, and Alcatraz on a tour, one of our little cockatiels and Scarlet on the helm of the boat. Uh, so what does a builder do? The simple answer is we just build things. The long answer is that we manage a process by combining people such as consultants and subbies, suppliers and specialists in their field in order to deliver coordinated um, uh, projects that's uh, compliant with the BCA, which is the Building Code of Australia, um, Australian standards and achieves the client's scope of work. And the intent is to deliver a project built on time to budget and to a superior quality of finish. How do we do it? I drink a lot of coffee, I meet with a lot of people, I uh, talk to architects, project managers, uh, developers, et cetera, et cetera, with the intention of selling um, our services and, uh, and, and telling people what we do and how we do it and what our capabilities are. From there, hopefully we'll get an invitation to tender. Uh, once we do get that invitation to tender, we'll then stick that out to all our um, subcontractors and, um, and consultants who will then price up their scope of works. Uh, we'll put it all back together again. Um, we'll present the tender um, and then hopefully we'll get a tender interview um, um, and then we'll win the project and uh, then we'll sign a contract. So I'm giving you a um, sort of in a nutshell type scenario here. Um, and there are two main sort of contracts that we normally deal with, which is a design and construct, which is a 4902 or, or a construct only, which is an AS4000. Um, the process. So I'm going to run through just sort of very simply the construction process and how it all works. Um, so once we've won the project and we've done all the design, we've got all the certification and we're ready to go, uh, we start with site establishment. So we start by uh, putting up um, uh, hoarding or uh, construction fencing to protect the site. Uh, we mobilise the site with uh, first aid, site sheds, um, our team, all our work health and safety and we get it all ready to roll. Um, from there, um, through the construction process, the next sort of uh, thing that we do is we get into the demolition of the project. This is a project up at Miller's Point um, where we've demolished the existing building up there. We've put the scaffolding around it. A shade cloth goes there to protect people and, and, and property. Um, the hoardings around the site there and then we start the excavation which was all in uh, rock. The next stage is that we do all the groundwork, so all the services are run in. Uh, the form workers go and start uh, forming up the steel, uh, ready for the concrete to be poured. 
Um, and then we've got the two good looking roosters on the left hand side who uh, manage the project. Um, and then after that on the bottom there you can see the um, slabs being poured and we've got all the starter bars uh, coming out of, the, uh, out of the concrete slab. So from there, the next stage we get to is that um, all the scaffolding goes up. We start to um, then put in all the uh, structural columns and walls. Um, the uh, form workers then come in and they start forming up all the floors. Um, and the concreters come in and they pour all the concrete. And that process is repeated all the way to the top. And we'll, once we get to the top, we have a topping out ceremony where, uh, uh, where we um, um, say, yay, the, the structure's all done and now we're getting on to the to to, to, the, to the next stage. So as that's, um, as that's going up, um, all the windows and all the facades, et cetera, et cetera, are, are all being uh, put on. Um, then the magic happens um, internally. So we then get all our um, subbies that then do all the fit out of the kitchens and the bathrooms, the painting, the tiling, um, all the electrical works, etc., etc., until we've got a completed project um, that's ready for, uh, for handover. Um, so basically, once we've got um, all of that done, uh, we've gone through, done all our defects, all the scaffolding stripped off, um, we have then uh, f have a finished project, uh, we've got all our certifications uh, ready, um, we then uh, get our occupancy certificate um, and uh, the developer uh, can then either finalise his sales and people will then start to, to move into their, uh, to their homes and we can move on to the next project. Um, so what do we do? What are our services? So we provide a construct only or, or design and construct option. So where we look at um, duplexes, townhouses, medium density apartments, mixed use developments and commercial fit outs. Um, so construct only, uh, as opposed to design and construct, construct only contract is one where all the documentation has basically been finalised and the builder just goes and builds from, from, from those um, documents. Um, uh, design and construct is basically where the, uh, the builder takes uh, all the construction documentation from say 60% complete, then they put their smarts into it to finalise the documentation and get it ready for construction. Sectors we work in, uh, residential, retirement, childcare and community facilities. Um, current projects, just a bit of a rundown. So up at um, Miller's Point, uh, this was actually stopped. We got all the groundworks done and it was stopped with COVID and it's just about to restart again. Uh, but it's high, eight high-end apartments. Um, we've just, as I mentioned last week, um, Crow's Nest, we've just signed a contract uh, with uh, Brian um, and uh, Omid, who is working with us as well, uh, for four high-end luxury apartments over a basement um, at Crow's Nest. Um, We've just uh, finished a little alts and ads on a little heritage property uh, in North Sydney where we sort of uh, replaced all the facade and then added um, uh, some, some new areas to the rear of the home. Um, commercial fit outs, there's a physiotherapy, some offices, some commercial kitchens um, and some completed projects that we've done. Nice big home out at Luddenham Farm, duplex and some townhouses at Warraway. Um, and that's my other cockatiel. Any questions? <laughs> no, Did good. You that? obviously. <laughs> there we I go. Yeah. Um, it seems all the trades I talk to at the moment are really flat out. Is that is that fair to say? Or? Yeah, look, uh, they, they are. They, look, over the over the last twelve months, um, a lot of the uh, the big commercial players have sort of slowed down a little bit, um, so the bigger end of town, um, but sort of in our space, it, it all seems to be still pretty busy. Well, awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much.